Okay, this is a six scale. It's July 6, 23. Is that your stuff as an attendee? All right, let's start with uh, B1. I think we're almost to the point we can wrap this up, right? I think we're, um, let's take a look. What do we have that's open? Oh, Lee wanted to add some other uh, metrics of I. Yeah, so I think uh, I'm going to comment soon, but uh, that instance type tests are in the density test and we, we decided not to upload the density benchmarks because we have not had consistent results. It, that job was failing for a long time and the graphs are not really meaningful. So, yeah. um, and another issue is that in our scraping, we only scrape the first two jobs. We leave the instance type out. So we need to add another um, like small uh, fix to also scrape the instance type. So I, I don't think this is going to be possible for V1, but definitely possible going forward. Okay. Let's just create an issue and, and let him know where we're tracking it. So he's you can sure. also keep an eye out for it. All right. Okay. All right. And then Andrew Kelly Black or outside SMC Green too. Yeah, that's um, a minor. So, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Okay. I think um I asked for everyone to take a look. I haven't heard from him. So um, we need, we just need someone who's got approval on. So I don't know if Lee does, but all right. All right, so still some progress there. Okay, next. Um, that was just an issue for you to get to Okay. Nothing, anything to say about this? No, I we've discussed this last time. I think we need to um, wait for that thread on Google Groups Kubert Dev mailing thread, where they're okay. discussing about the changes. Once that is settled, we can create a page for six scale. All right. Okay, those were the two open ones. So right. apart from the uh, Kubert doc. Everything else will be moved to a different tracking issue, right? Because essentially we are saying that that's not required for V1. Yeah. So it's just these three. And then um, what about this? Have we done this? Oh, no, that's the, you just sent me this, right? Yeah. Where's this? Um, is it this? No, um, I'll put it here. Okay, cool. So this has our, all our vendor data for V1. Okay. Okay. Wait, this is, so, okay, mainly up to scraped data. Wait, wait, this is, um. so this covers it, right? We've got, this has, this is the index HTML. That's what we wanted. We Good, wanted yeah. Okay. All right. Well, all right, we getting lost news. All right, there we go. Okay, so that, that'll be the last. Okay, we can merge that one today and then just gonna close these out and have until next Tuesday. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess as soon as you can, let's get those comments closed out and then I can ping Roman again and let's see if we can get this merged in the next day or so. Um, yeah. Okay, so I know we're gonna talk about this Friday and then, um, and then we can't do, so okay, what should, 
we need to move this out then because this is going to, we're saying this is going to be plus V1, right? So I think this needs to be a nice to have. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. All right. Close. Close. Very close. All right. I'll look at this after we can get a merge stem up to the call. All right. What else? Um, benchmarks PR. Is this something we also need to look at? We already looked at it. It is. Oh, this that. was the documentation. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Good. All right. Maybe this will be quick and easy. Um, do you want to talk about the? Uh, oh, is there anything else about V one uh, before we? I was going to say we can talk about some flow control. No, I think. But that's all for V1. So okay. the two open major items are that PR and the blog post. I think we have plans for both of them. So that covers it. Okay. Very right, good. All right, let's uh, let's just quickly talk about flow control. So did um so I think this is the test that you did, right? You call you did a test like this, and we should have some results, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I did some more exhaustive testing. Uh, okay, so in that I had 25K PVC, um, 100 list requests per second. Okay. And I ran this for two configurations, one for five minute and then for 30 minute. Oh, you know, I'm gonna do like, do like this. Five minutes. And thirty minutes. Yeah. All right. And so, what do you got for result? The restrictive policy was that it allowed eight list requests. So, however many requests we fire, API server will allow eight of them to go through. Okay. And yeah, so with this, I saw that API server um, plateaus out. So um, initially we were using around, like initially the API server was using around nine gigabytes of data. And then after this, it was close to 14. So there is a spike up for the first two minutes. And then for the rest of the time, um, the API server memory usage is plateauing. So it's a straight line. Um, although the test fires requests for um, 30 minutes. Oh, actually I was saying that for the 30 minute time, sorry. I'll, I'll keep continuing. The, although the client fires the request for 30 minutes, the API server, because it has enqueued a lot of um, requests and because client is configured to retry upon failure, the test ends up um, stretching for a um, long period of time. So let's say an hour or so before I hit like a session timeout. Um, so that was my other observation as in, the when the client is done, the test is not done. It, it continues to um, process those requests, and we see the plateaued line go up to more than an hour. So, so the, those the plateau just kind of gets. So the plateau. The difference between the two here is this memory plateau is just bigger when we hit thirty minutes. When we do this for thirty minutes. As in, right? as in the spike is not bigger. But these it's stretch. longer. Sorry. Yeah. Right. You, you, yes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't say that. Yeah. Okay. Because right, the client that right. I have used, they don't uh, context timeout. So let's say I client go routine one has started uh, uh, a list call, and that list called let's say timed out or um, returned an unknown error. Then the same go routine, uh, same client internally will retry and continue to retry until it passes. So 
eventually that list call will give us like an end to end timeout of let's say 15 minute right it took 15 minute for that list call to continue so if you have similar list calls queued up you can imagine that even though the initial burst was of 30 second internally the library is spending more time and that's why our um, test is stretching out because the test is stretching out the load on the api server is stretching out so we can see the plateau last longer than just 30 minutes okay so that's a pass for both i mean we didn't own my either though so that's good yeah okay yeah, we did not. Um, I think my next step is to take one API server down and see if this test um, continues to pass with uh, two API servers. Okay. Yeah, let's see. If that's an that's an interesting one because I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make one more. So I'll do like. see what we come up with. Okay. Move it off. There we go. Yeah, and I was like <laughs> run off by that. Okay. Um good. That's cool. All right, let's see what we find from that. Um yeah, that'll be a good study. All right, I think that's okay. all we have from last time I want to follow up on. I don't know, is there anything else that we want to go through? I think that was it, full control V1, yeah. Um, I think at some point we would have, we would, it would be good to do like a post V1 triage, but um, not ready yet. Um, we'll have to create a new tracking issue for all the, um skip or fan scale related items that open that are open and find a new like post v1 issue for it and we can triage that um, in the next call yeah okay all right we'll talk about it when the time comes yeah all right i think we're good then we'll, we'll wrap up early yep sounds good all right thanks play thanks, all right thanks man See you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.